Thanks for joining us here in Windsor and in person for the fourth annual DSP Leaders World Forum, where I am delighted to be joined by Cormac Willen. He's head of the Telecom Systems Business, Europe, Middle East and Africa at Dell Technologies. Cormac, thank you for joining us. Good morning. My pleasure. So I understand it's the first time Dell Technologies is attending the event. What brought you here? Yeah, it is actually our first time here. Yeah, I'm delighted to be so. So traditionally, Dell is well known as one of the world's largest enterprise business to business brands. Um, but it's come to our attention over the last couple of years that there's a natural evolution happening, particularly in the telco sector. So we put a lot more specific focus on the telco system business. We created a new business, as you said, the telecom systems business within Dell. About a year ago, we launched it formally to the world, but we've been working for a couple of years now behind the scenes. Uh, and so we're bringing an increased focus onto the telecom market as it moves towards an open ecosystem, open RAN, open forum type approach. So here at the DSP forum, it's got an excellent audience of the right decision makers, the right executive level engagement from telecom and vendors in our industry. So we're delighted to be part of it now. So we're hearing a lot these days about CSPs and open RAN and the need to modernize to a cloud native open network in order to be able to monetize their networks. So what's Dell's view of the open RAN ecosystem? So it's a very interesting evolution in the technology industry. My, I personally have been in the industry for over 25 years at operators and technology vendors. But what we're seeing now for the first time is a move to a much more open architecture design in the industry. Traditionally, we're used to a much more proprietary approach driven by vendors, driven by architecture and telco operators, but the technology is moving naturally forward to an open system. That open system allows a much more um, diverse approach from the marketplace point of view, and there's lots of different things going on in the industry at the moment. Lack of diversity of suppliers we've seen over recent geopolitical decisions and, and, and government decisions on a global basis over the last few years. We've seen it uh, from an architecture point of view as technology has moved to a more open-based thinking. Also, there are a lot of other things driving the requirements of operators in the future. So I think we're seeing that with open technology, a number of other possibilities emerge. At Dell, we've traditionally been a proprietor of open-based systems from x86 computers to x86 servers to data center capability and storage. It's a natural progression for us into the open ecosystem in a telco space as it moves to Open RAN. Um, open RAN is going to drive a number of other capabilities in the industry. I think it won't be a macro adapted thing initially. It will be eventually. But I think what we'll start to see is some certain use cases driving it. Private wireless, infill for capacity in cities, maybe even a rural coverage in place of, of, of broadband. All things telco operators need to now build to deliver on the promise of 5G and the ability to monetize services for enterprise. So I think open RAN and an open ecosystem is essential for that next generation of monetization of services. One of the things we're talking here at the forum today is about how do telco operators recognize new revenue streams? And I think the open ecosystem can help drive and deliver that for them. So what value do you bring exactly to this open ecosystem? So at Dell, what we've done is, like I said, a specific focus now on the telco vertical globally. Uh, we're operating in Asia Pac, in Europe, Middle East and Africa, across the Americas, in North America and Latin America. Um, and it's a, it's a global approach we have to actually deliver this new open ecosystem and to be part of anchoring that ecosystem. One of the things about that ecosystem is it is going to be made up of a diverse group family of vendors operators, software providers, hardware providers, cloud providers, etc. That's what's going to make it very new and very, very difficult. It's going to be very, very complex to actually manage, deliver, run, upgrade, etc. That we're used to a very simple system, relatively speaking, of single vendor one throat to choke or single vendor ran single vendor core. Now we're going to start to see a, a multitude of players at each level in that stack. And one of the biggest challenges that telcos are going to face is how to manage that complexity and that diversity. So Dell is producing a set of product portfolio and service portfolio specifically for the telco industry in open and open RAN capability. It is developing multi-edge cloud capability that we already launched at Mobile World Congress this year. We're developing new layer one technology capabilities for, for ourselves and for uh, an open system for other, other vendors to use. And then I think you'll start to see all this being underpinned by two key things that we're bringing to the market. One is a new ecosystem of partners, 
because that is the one thing this open world is going to demand and need. It doesn't work without it. It's a partnership uh, ecosystem to deliver all the relative different parts of this. And secondly, we're going to underpin all of that by our what's called OTEL, our Open Telecoms Ecosystem Lab, which is part of our open system platform. Because without that kind of platform, you cannot do some of the testing, integration, assurance, upgrades, uh, retrogressive testing, that is probably going to be one of the largest challenges that telco operators have going forward. They're used to doing r certain upgrades at certain times in the period of life of a, of a network technology. This is going to be a, a multi-changing, maybe even on a monthly, quarterly basis per vendor. How do you manage that Jenga wall of, of diverse players in that space in, a, in an environment that allows you to test it, prove it, before you put it in what is some of the most critical national infrastructure in, in the countries. So we're gonna be building that lab, launching it later this year. Um, that ecosystem will form the basis for the partner ecosystem to deliver the new services, and that will in turn drive those applications I mentioned in that open RAN ecosystem going forward. So I think we're gonna be part of the injection into that open RAN system to make it real. Fantastic, Cormac, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank <laughs> you.